This is not the girl at the bar begging you to come over. This is the girl at the bar minding her own business, waiting to see if you'll take notice of how cool she is. How about that? <laughs> Put that in your hat and smoke it. Right. <laughs> if your hat can do that. <laughs> if your hat can do that. Coming to you somewhat live from the Beer to Whiskey Studios, high atop Barley's Tap Room on Washington Street in magnificent downtown Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Russ Heaps, and welcome to this episode of Big John in Five. And that's where I get my good buddy here, Big John Richards, to pick a beer from one of Barley's 72 taps or a can or bottle from their 50 can and bottle selection. <laughs> And uh, we sniff it, we sip it, we get bits about it. John tells us a little bit about the brewery usually, and, and sometimes we even get into a little brewing history. And having said all that, John, what have you found for us Ooh. today? Well, found a beer that you can't see through for all of the best reasons. I, I, and all of Russ's favorite reasons. Yes. Yes. This is... I'm... I'm this is our fifth segment today, maybe. Yeah, sounds right. And and this is the one that the first one that I've been like excited about just by looking at the beer. Well, I've already got compliments on two. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm like well, I'm spreading I'm spreading it around. Today. Yeah, seriously. So we are drinking North Coast Brewing, um, Old Rasputin, but it's a 2018 version of their bourbon barrel aged Old Rasputin. It's a North Coast beer, which is out of Fort Bragg, Mendocino County, not Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Fort Bragg, California, Mendocino County. It's they barrel aged it once in bourbon barrels and then when Barley's got a hold of it, they dropped it in their cellar for four years and now we're drinking it. <laughs> I love my job. All right. <laughs> And Barley's has this wonderful cellar program that they're kind enough to share with us. Yep. Um, they've got beers that are, you know, sometimes 8, 10, and 12 years old. They've been aging and um, pull them out when they're ready to go and let us reap the benefits. So this is going to be extra fun, just taking that bourbon barrel aged beer and letting it mellow for even a little bit longer. And, uh, and this should be... This should be a lot of fun to, to dive into. I'm excited. <laughs> so it's 11.1%. 11, 11 uh, it's dampening my enthusiasm a little bit because we still have a little, we've still so got a little, little way to go, go today. And we're only going to get three ounces into this before we yeah. move on to the next one. But anytime they serve a beer in this style glass, you know you're in for a, a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So it should be fun, you know, the aging process should let a little bit of those fermentation flavors um, jump out. We might get a little bit of the oxidation kind of sherry stuff. We want that to overpower anything, and, and, and I'm sure that it won't because they're, they're fastidious about that. How do you spell fastidious? <laughs> it's like it sounds. <laughs> okay. P-H. <laughs> Close. All right. Okay. Close. Um, I'm presuming you're just going to put that up there as a definition at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but well, I'll do something. That sounds right. Um, at least you'd have to bleep it off. Exactly. So, <laughs> but we should continue to get those big, big chocolate coffee notes out of the beer. Um, some of the plums and figs from the fermentation process. And then the vanilla, like... Um, the spice and the molasses out of the barrel that jump in should all be present in here, um, but we should have a real, real mellow start and finish to this. Well, let's give it a go. Yeah, I think what we should. What do you should. think? Text Miss Lily. Let's do it. I can smell the oxidation. You smell that little bit of sherry on the top of it. But the man, it's like figs and raisins in there yeah. for days. Yeah. Anything, any, 
any beer over about 10%. Yeah, you I get know those it. big yeah. fruity nuts. Ooh, I took a bigger sip out of that than I probably even should have. Ooh, it's almost got a little bit of soda. Cocoa, is, cocoa's the big thing I'm getting out of it. There's a lot of cocoa there. There's enough fermentation still in there that I can taste the fermentation. Or rather, feel it. It's a mouthfeel. It's not a taste. But, yeah, that thing is just... It's just sitting with cocoa and dark chocolate on the yep. back of my tongue. Yep. Oh, there's a little bit of those raisins and figs again. And this is a beer that could continue to just sit and develop flavors over minutes, over five minutes. You would have to take another sip and you taste different things as it goes as along. It, as it warms up. As I'm, you know, just as I'm talking over it, I'm tasting, without having another sip, it switched from cocoa to more like espresso roast coffee. Yeah. I'm getting a little more bread and a little less of the fruit. And it's crazy how long a beer like this will sit on your palate and continue to give. And that's, you want it, you want that out of a beer that's 11%. You don't want to, I mean, sometimes maybe you want to just take an 11% beer and knock it right back, but then you only get to have one. You only get to have one and then, and then you go night night. Right. <laughs> and I like drinking two beers and passing out just as much as the next guy. <laughs> Well, I also like having beers with my friends and enjoying yes. some company. Yes. So yeah. a beer like this, I mean, you would sit with a beer this size for an hour. Yeah, easily. 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 And I remember sitting with one. I won't spoil brand recognition by naming what beer it was uh, of this one, but it was 80% alcohol. And I sat down with a big snifter, poured that thing in there, and turned on a movie. And, uh, and just sip that beer over the course of two hours. And the movie was over, the credits rolled, I grabbed the remote, stood up, and I went, whoa. <laughs> like, I don't, I didn't, there was no threatening to fall down, but I was like, wow, I can feel that. <laughs> you know, the, what makes me want to take another sip of this? Mm. The finish. Yeah, it's dry. It's, it's a little dry, but it's all that. And I still, I'm not, I don't get the espresso uh, coffee kind of thing mm. the way you're doing it. I'm still getting the cocoa and the chocolate. And, uh, but it, but I sit here and go, yeah, I want a little more. I want yeah. a little more of that on the back of my tongue. Right. I don't get much, I, I really don't get much of the, of you know the plums and raisins and that kind of thing that you normally get out of this i'm not just on the nose and right up front and then it switches really quick into that chocolate thing for me and then the, there's a little bit still in the finish and by by now i'm really just lingering with what i what i could have just as easily at this point have licked the cocoa out of like the hershey's cocoa right off yep. the spoon yep Yep. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. What a fine, yeah. fine. There's so, so much travel in that. And yet, with this much age on it, everything happening is subtle enough that nothing overpowers you. Everything is just smooth, easy, clean. I, I won't use the word accessible because that's a different... It's a, it has a slightly different connotation. It's not just... This is not... This is not the girl at the bar begging you to come over. This is the girl at the bar minding her own business, waiting to see if you'll take notice of how cool she is. How about that? <laughs> Put that in your hat and smoke it. Right. If your hat can do that. If your hat can do that. <laughs> All right. Shall we send these people on their yeah, way? Yeah, I think we've bored them enough. Yeah. I'll tell, uh, I'll tell them before they go the North Coast has been independent since 1988 and are still independently brewing on the on the coast of California. So nice. here's to that. Right, exactly. Cheers. So damn lucky. 
see you next time.